Second, we're getting rolling into this next month. Here's Cor. I don't know if I'm ready for August. Too, no, too bad, it's here. Yeah. That's... <laughs> toughen up, soldier. That's Celeste's message. Yeah, <laughs> toughen up. Take like the conversation with my kids. <laughs> too bad. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. I thought something worked out. But anyway, here's your day. But it's humid for sure. We've got 101. That's our scheduled high. And uh, really, we could see another evening like last evening with scattered showers and thunderstorms. And uh, we'll talk about the rest of the week and the weekend too in a few minutes. Say, hey, Andrea. Hey, good morning, Corey. Good morning, everyone. A look outside. Here's the I 10. And there's that accident at 27th Avenue. The uh, tow truck is. A neighborhood, a specific home in a quiet part of Tolleson for hours. Marcy Jones near 99th Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. That's right, Ron Celeste, a terrifying wake-up call for folks in this community. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see the scene. Still a lot of police activity here. We've got the mobile command unit, other police units behind it as well. We've seen officers and investigators go in and out, uh, confronting each other. At this point, neighbors have been the only source of information for us because police are still knee-deep in their investigation. But here's what they're telling us so far, that this commotion and activity started around 1 this morning. One of them heard gunshots. Someone, they believe, was put into a stretcher and loaded into an ambulance, and they say they believe to be a woman. Now, neighbors also tell us this is a family with multiple children. Again, none of this confirmed by police yet because they are still heavily into their... Interesting point one neighbor did bring up is that police did make a visit to the same home on Sunday. Not sure if it's connected to whatever incident led up to this. Of course, we're still waiting for an update on whatever is going on, especially that uh, condition of victim or victims. We're just waiting for police to come out here and give us a little more information, guys. All right, Marcy, thank you. Another shooting we're following this morning. This one in a neighborhood near 79.